Welcome yeah. back to Probability and Statistics. This is Lesson 3.4. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the five number summary. Box plots. Three goals today. Number one, calculate the five number summary. Number two, create box plots. And number three, interpret the results of the five number summary in the box plots. So we're going to talk about quartiles, interquartile range, and five number summaries and the how, what, and why of the five number summary. So first of all, can you read for me the how, Mendez? Oh, um, okay. Number one, arrange data in increasing order. Number two, calculate the median of the entire set, Q2. Three, divide data into two halves if the number of observation is odd. Include the median in both halves. Four, find median of bottom half of Q1. Five, find median on top half for Q3. And number six, summarize. Excellent. Thank you. This is just the step-by-step -step of what we just did with the M&Ms. So good reference for you. The what. Can you read that for us, please, Dylan? Thank you. So if you forget which one's which, there it is for your reference. Toby, can you read to us about the why? Unlike the median standard deviation, descriptive measures based on the median number sometimes are visible to Great. Thanks. So we just got done talking about the empirical rule. That was based on the mean, not resistant to outliers. So this comes in handy when you do have some outliers. We've got... Um, we're basing this uh, summary of our data on the median, which is resistant to outliers. Example one, provided below is a, simp a simple data set for, your, for you to practice finding descriptive measures for the data set complete parts A through C. Step one, to finding the quartiles. Line them all up from least to greatest. So go ahead and line those all up. Write them in order. Step two is to find the median of the entire data set. So we have 10 values. We'll use our position formula for the median. Five point five. So that means halfway between the fifth and the sixth value is our median. So in this case, it's right between the two fives. We average the fives, and we get five. Q2 is equal to five. Remember, the median of the entire data set is also uh, represented with Q2. Then we're going to find the median of the lower half of the data set. I just did the... I just counted it. There's only four values, so makes it easy. Q1 is four. Same thing for the upper half. Q3. So check. I've obtained the quartiles. Second, it says determine the interquartile range. The interquartile range is abbreviated IQR, and it's just the Q3 minus the Q1. In this case, 6 minus 4, which is 2. The five number summary is made up of the minimum of a data set, Q1, 
Q1, Q2, Q3, and the max of a data set. So that, in my data set up here, the minimum is 3, and the max is 7. So I'm just going to write my five number summary as 3, Q1 is 4, Q2 is 5, Q3 is 6, and my max is 7. That's my five number summary. You're going to see how these numbers translate into a box plot on page three. Will you read my next example for me, please, Jax? Example three. Thank you. So again, I'm going to line these up from least to greatest. There's only 21 values. So it's longer than the last one, but not super long. So go ahead and write those out from least to greatest. Alright, so hopefully you've gotten those all written out in order, at least the greatest. My next step is to find the median of the whole entire data set. There's 21 values, so I can find the position of that median again by doing n plus 1 divided by 2. 21 divided, 21 plus 1. 21 plus 1 divided by 2, so 22 divided by 2. 11, so I'm going to find my 11th value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, something different? I got 18. So 18 should be Q2. Since I have this odd number of observations, I only have one middle number, and I'm going to use that middle number to calculate the quartile one, the median of the lower half. So if I just use my counting method here, seven is going to be Q1, Grayson. Q1, Q2, 
It's the middle of the data set. So you just count. I could count by like doing the cross off method to find the middle. But our shortcut from 3.1 that we learned about was this position rule. Where we can just say, how many total numbers do I have? Add one to it. Divide by two. That's going to give me the middle of my data set every time. This is the middle. This is the middle of the lower half. And then I'm going to find the middle of the upper half. You're welcome. Anybody get Q3? 21, that's what I got. Nice job. Check, check. Hard day. Aha. Four sevens. A lot of sevens. Now, this is somewhat new to us to interpret what we just wrote in the context of the uh, question. So I just wrote those out for you. Um, can you read, Ganesh, the interpretation for example 3, part A? Excellent. Thanks. So 25% are staying in this amount of days. We've got 25% staying within the 7 to 18 days. Each one of these blocks represents 25% of the observations. Now it's time for the, gut, the cut and paste part of our notes. So you're going to take this sheet of paper and you're going to cut out each one of these strips and we're going to stick those into spots where they belong to be continued. 